How to flatten your stomach. I've tried sit-ups, you've tried jogging, cutting out carbs, and nothing seems to work. What can you do to make this happen? Hi and welcome, my name's Eric Simpson. I'm an online weight loss coach. I work with busy professional women over 40 who are looking to drop at least two to three dress sizes in the next 90 days without counting calories, spending hours exercising every day, or trying to be 100% perfect. So you've tried the sit-ups, you've tried the jogging, you've tried cutting out the carbs and nothing seems to work. You still have a big stomach and you wanna get rid of it. So what can you do? Well, I wanna share a quick story with you first before I get into the three biggest mistakes as to why people struggle to be able to get a flat stomach and what you can do instead to achieve that. And it was a client I was working with. She was in her mid 50s. She came into a, a session with me. I was working offline at the time in a local gym. She said, Eric, I had a fantastic conversation with my son. Uh, a son in his mid-20s said to her, Ma, Ma, he called her Ma, said, what are you doing with Eric to get such a flat stomach? You know, what sort of sit-ups is he giving you to do? And she said she scratched her head, she thought for a while, and then she came back and said, you know, I really couldn't think what we'd done in terms of sit-ups. I, I can't recall ever doing lots of sit-ups. And here's the reality. It's not about doing lots of sit-ups. Doing lots of sit-ups is not going to get you a flatter stomach. So let me share with you the three biggest mistakes I see people making before we can talk about what we can do to address these mistakes and start to move towards getting a flatter stomach. So mistake number one, trying all the stuff I've mentioned earlier, doing sit-ups, you know, buying these sit-up machines, they simply don't work. It's not gonna happen. Uh, going out jogging, uh, cutting out carbohydrates, you know, doing these things indiscriminately really is just gonna to lead to a lot of frustration, a lot of annoyance, and eventually giving up. So don't, don't do that. Number two, trying to go even stricter on your diet. You know, cutting out, uh, not just carbohydrates, but cutting out whole meals, you know, trying to starve yourself. And whilst that might have an impact in the short term, what probably will happen long term is, you'll end up putting on not just the weight you've lost, but arguably even more weight than you lost originally. So don't do that one either. And number three is going harder and longer with your cardiovascular exercise or your weights. And basically what that will end up doing is getting you injured. So those are the three things you definitely don't wanna to do to try and get a flatter stomach. So what can you do to get a flatter stomach? Well, here are three things that are proven and tested. And I've been doing this with clients now for well over a decade. So number one, you're gonna to have to address your diet. There's simply no getting away from it. You cannot outrun, out sit up, out press up a bad diet. You have to address your diet. And some simple things you can do to address your diet, starting literally with your next meal, is to make sure when you look at your plate of food, you have an element of protein on there, some healthy fats, and some carbohydrates. And you wanna be having that at all of your meals, your breakfast, your lunch, your evening meal, whichever meals you have, that's what you wanna have on your plate. Proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. That combination will leave you feeling the most satiated for the longest, it will feed your body correctly, and it will basically help you to uh, not lose any of the lean body tissue that you are trying to acquire to help you uh, get a flatter stomach. So that's your diet, you cannot ignore that. Number two, you wanna do a full body workout. What do I mean by a full body workout? You want to be working your legs, your chest, your back, your shoulders, your core, you know, the big areas of your body. Why? Because first of all, it's gonna save you time because when you work, for example, let's say your chest doing a press up and admittedly you may not be able to do a full press up. You may be at a stage where you can only do maybe a half press up or a box press up or even put your hands against the wall standing close to it, lower yourself towards the wall and push away. That's a, still a press up. That's gonna work your chest muscles, but it's also gonna work the muscles in the back of your arms as well, so you're getting more bang for your buck, as they, as they like to say. And then number three, cardiovascular training. Start off with as little as 10 to 20 minutes a day, nice and easy. Once you've done that for a period of time, you can then build up to doing things like interval training where you walk fast for a minute and then you walk slow for two minutes and then you walk fast for a minute and slow for two minutes and you can repeat that four to five times. So those are three things that you can do to start to bring about and achieving a flatter stomach. The key to those three things is consistency. You've gotta be consistent with it. Hopefully you found those three things useful and this session useful today. Look, 
If you'd like to find out how I may be able to help you to achieve a flatter stomach, improve your health and lose the weight you want to lose, there should be a link around this video. You can click on it. You can book yourself a free call. We get on a call, lasts no more than 10 minutes. We chat about what your goals are, your current situation. I explain a bit about how the program works. And if we both think the program could potentially work for you, we'd then set up a second call. So there's nothing to buy on that initial call. It's just simply book the call. We'll have a conversation and let's see if we can potentially work together. Until next time, take very good care and bye for now.